All right, so I'm over here at Burma Burma's enclosure. My albino Burmese python. Now, I get a large area of substrate for Burma Burma to be able to go underneath so he can feel comfortable inside of his environment. Because these large snakes, and these are one of the largest snakes in the world, they love to borrow sometimes. And then sometimes I give them a large water bowl. So they would love to submerge in the water. So I put my hand in here every day to let Burma Burma know that I am a friendly person inside of his environment. And plus, nobody don't want to get bit by a Burmese python because they can get very big. And if they bite you, it can be a very, very bad bite. So... Let's go ahead and touch him a little bit. Let him know that I'm inside of his enclosure. And uh, get him okay with it. Oh, see, there he is. He showed up. Most of the time when you open up the enclosure, your snake could smell you. Right? And you could see those, uh, those nostrils and those heat receptors in the front. See? So... What I normally do is rub him a little bit under the chin to let him know that I'm inside of his enclosure because you got to do maintenance. You got to wash him. You got to bathe him. And you got to be able to touch your snake. Now, most people throw rats inside of their enclosure and then the snake eat them and then they close the enclosure back and then they come back and throw another rat. Well, at that point, your snake becomes your champion and your snake just wants you to know that I can take down rats and even bigger things. So they tend to get better at biting and get better at biting. So most of the time I put my hand in here every day to just rub him and touch him. And you see that once you rub him and touch him a lot, they become head trained where they, they won't bite you because now they can identify the difference between your hand and a rat. And any other object that you may put in there. Because sometimes, you know, I want to feed them a large meal before it gets cold. And I want to go ahead and feed them rabbits. And uh, they love rabbits instead of getting rats all the time. But you can see now that Burma Burma and I touch Burma Burma all the time. That Burma Burma really don't care about being touched. He doesn't, he doesn't mind. See the rest of his body. He's a very large snake, and if he wanted to bite me, he pretty much can. So we're going to reveal the rest of his body, and he's wrapped around here, and I'm going to go ahead and exit his enclosure. But that's my small, small piece of handling technique that I wanted to go ahead and introduce you guys to so you can know how to get your Burmese python or snake to trust you and not bite at you or snap at you or hiss because you've seen the whole time that I've been inside of his enclosure, he didn't hiss once or jump back because he was afraid of what I was doing. So, holla at your boy, people. This your boy KP from KP Reptiles. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button if you feel like helping me out. And, uh, you know... If you leave, leave a comment and let me know what you think or let me know any suggestions that you have and, uh, you know, if there's anything that I'm doing wrong here. Peace out, people.